Hi guys welcome to all and in this video we are going to see about very important concept in Pandas called as series. So before that let me introduce you one of the key points here. Like Pandas is a open source library for data analysis and even which is very powerful and fast. Okay and second thing is uh, in Pandas it contains two data structures called series and data frames. And in this video we are going to see extensively about series. So first we want to know what is about series. Okay right. So series is like a one dimension array object or a list or a column. Think it like a one feature. Okay. So uh, before going into the coding concept, let me first import the pandas library using input keyword. Okay. Let me do that guys. Yeah. You can see it right. I am uh, pandas is imported. Okay. Like first we can do task one. So in the task one, we are going to create sample series. Okay. Further, we are going to use PD dot series and I am providing these elements okay and this consists of not only integer it also consists like float and also string uh, like uh, characters also okay let me execute it guys yeah now let me print what exactly present in series okay variable yeah you can see right this is like a, this is the format of series and we can have like a mix of data types too okay you got clarity right how we can create a panda series okay now let's go on to see and ask task 2 okay in task 2 we are going to add custom indices now while creating the ponder series uh, we have like uh, automatic generation of indices but i want to create our own indices so uh, to do that we want to specify like index and what values we want to provide and while creating pd dot series now we are going to specify like index is equals to index and this is like a, a inbuilt function that is using uh, pd dot series now let me execute it guys yeah now let's see what exactly present in series 2 okay you can see right all the uh, values of indices that are auto generated is is being replaced by our own custom indices you can see the exact output right yeah now in the toss 3 i want to access the elements in series so the, uh, this is same exactly like accessing in list okay let me execute it guys yeah so you can see right the value present in a is 1 this is what it has produced exactly so let me do a uh, same like what's present in D. Yeah, you can see right. D has contained string and this is exactly what it is printing. Now let's do task 4. So in task 4 we want to create series using dictionaries. Earlier we have seen right how we have created by using only one list element. But if I want to create by using dictionaries, let's see how we can create. Okay. So here we have series 3 the variable name and we are specifying the pond, uh, pd dot series just like above and i am uh, providing in a key value pair using dictionaries okay i am creating one dictionaries i am providing like key as london and value as 20 and tripoli 100 and so on and let me execute it guys yeah so always remember this format key value format well uh, we want to create using dictionaries okay let me print uh, series 3 and uh, see what exactly present okay you can see that our series has created okay now let me access any one of the element in series okay this can be done exactly using uh, like list okay you can see right the value present in tripoli has printed here now let's do the task 5 and in the task 5 i want to do uh, perform like uh, logical operations here so uh, we have this series right now i want to get all elements which contain uh, values greater, uh, greater than 25 so uh, uh, this can be done exactly like this okay so i am uh, specifying the condition here i am passing it to series object okay this has printed and get all elements which contain a greater than 25 okay you got cl uh, much clarity right how we can uh, create the panda series and how we can access and how we can create another way and also how we can perform logical operations okay one other additional tip guys if you want to know more about uh, pd dot series you can follow this documentation official documentation so that you can get much clarity okay thanks guys thanks for your time